Police Portfolio Committee is visiting the Norwood Police Station, notorious for the theft of an arms cache, to assess service delivery. The visit is in response to the recent discovery that 158 firearms were stolen from the police station's evidence rooms. The committee aims to establish whether there are appropriate measures in place to safeguard the evidence and to prevent recurrence. ENCA's Barry Bateman continues to work that story doggedly and has been tracking that uh, visit by the Police Portfolio Committee. So, Barry, what did the Portfolio Committee find, uh, given what we know uh, of how these firearms went missing uh, from the evidence rooms at that police station? Yeah, Atula says where they haven't actually done the walkabout just yet, but they have had a meeting uh, not far from here where they were briefed on the events which led up to this walkabout and oversight visit taking place. And that is that uh, the 175 firearms that are missing from the SAP 13 store here at the uh, Norwood Police Station. We go back to the middle of last year where four firearms were found on two separate scenes and analysis of those traced them back to the Norwood Police Station. Um, uh, the, the Provincial Commissioner Elias Mawela explaining at this, this briefing earlier how investigations then started um, and when they got investigators here the SAP 13 store clerk uh, took his own life um, which you know, prompted this massive audit that has taken place, which uh, ultimately resulted in that finding of 175 firearms missing. We've had a total shake-up of the management here. We've got a new station commander, a new head of visible policing, a new head of detective services. Uh, the, the, the former station commander actually resigned uh, just a month or so ago. Uh, but we've got disciplinary hearings which are being investigated, uh, or disciplinary complaints rather, which are being investigated, which will result in, in, in steps being taken against implicated parties. But perhaps more importantly, we've got the criminal prosecution aspect, which is currently sitting with the hall. Uh, which we hope to see in court soon. Yeah, just for clarity, Barry, how many firearms are we talking about? Because um, I hear you mentioning 175, uh, whereas we've been talking about 158 in our introduction. It's a minor bit of detail, but in the bigger context, given the concern about where these firearms are ending up, it may not be so minor. Yeah, well, that 158 that you're talking about, that was the original number that, uh, after that audit that was established that was uh, uh, missing. It was then further investigations, and that 175 is the updated figure, and that is where we currently stand on the number of firearms uh, that are missing from the store. Only four have been recovered. You must remember that as well. So you've got 171 firearms uh, that are unaccounted for, and if it's anything to go by, they are in the hands of some of the most violent criminals in Gauteng. Mm. And just, I don't know how much of the uh, briefing session we've been able to listen in on, if at all. Um, what, what do we know about the tone, um, given what we know about how, you know, these uh, 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 portfolio committees in Parliament really like to assert themselves uh, from time to time in situations such as these? Well, it's all about the aspect of accountability, uh, Tula says, where we were there and we listened to the Portfolio Committee members asking the questions, uh, what is going to be happening next? That's the big question. The other one is whether or not there's going to be a uh, countrywide but also provincial-wide audit. Now, we can talk about Norwood Police Station. And uh, I think it was uh, um, uh, MP Grunewald, uh, he put it to them that this is the, the, the most audited store in the whole of the country. Now, we know what's missing here. But what about the rest of the country? What about the rest of the province? Because this is certainly not an isolated incident. And this has been confirmed, and it was confirmed to Parliament last week, actually, when these matters were discussed, uh, which preempted this uh, oversight visit, is that there is going to be a countrywide audit of the SAP 13 stores, because as it stands, uh, they're in a pretty shambles. Mm, all right. No, that, that, that paints a, a really good picture, uh, that we may have an idea of what's missing from that one evidence room there at Norwood Police Station. But what about the rest of the country? How prevalent is this kind of thing? What would we find if we were to audit those other SAPS 13 stores in other police stations? For now, let's leave it there. That's ENCA's Barry Bateman tracking the um, oversight visit by the pod Police Portfolio Committee of Parliament to the Norwood Police Station where 175 fire 
firearms uh, went missing were stolen. They didn't go missing. And they have no agency. They can't go missing on their own. They were stolen and only four have been recovered.